Hello YouTube, we are back with the fifth episode of Let's Play Hattrick in San Marino with Inter Calvajal. This week we gained 42 fans, so we are just completely soaring in that regard, and we are already up to 758 members of the fan club. Excellent progression. Looking at this week's friendly match, we tried to gain extra training by getting to the extra time in the friendly with cup rules game against our main team. We managed to do so in a perfect setup game to run all the way to penalties. The extra training only benefited the, the main team though, simply because Julio, let's have a look at the lineup here, Julio got injured. Very unlucky. Uh, very unlucky for us, meaning that we could not, we could not swap Virili and Julio Mercado in the 90th minute to get some extra training for Virili simply because he didn't have the right player to swap with. And on top of that, Emilio Vanucci got a red card so he couldn't swap with Johnson Otem. So for the San Marino team, it, it was uh, not worth anything at all. But luckily for me personally, my main team carried out all the orders and got extra training for the forward and a leftover trainee from my initial trainee batch. So we succeeded in gaining extra training, although only for the main team. Next week's friendly will be against FV Rehböcke. I don't know exactly how to pronounce that, but that's Idrissi who's been paying a visit a lot on the YouTube channel so far. So thank you for that. And thank you for uh, playing a uh, friendly against us. That'll be fun. Let's have a look at the training results this week. This week we had two relevant pops in winger, Jansen Odom and Tolly popped both from pass ball to solid. So a nice little progression there in the grand scheme of things. We have a bit of a selection headache on the youth team after we recruited Rivas Giardi this weekend. Rivas Giardi is a certain talent and we want to focus on his training because we'll be able to pull him at the age of 17. On the other hand, Enzo Bakioki. We pulled him as the first player, and even though he can't be pulled at the age of 17, I would still like to finish training him, but I don't know his level in defending, and I worry that it's not very, very high. What do you guys think? Should we even focus on the keeper at this point? I'm not entirely sure. I think we'll look at we will look at revealing his uh, actual level in the friendly in 10 days or so. And hopefully he's very close to popping uh, or very close to his maximum level in defending. Otherwise, I think we might have to just focus on Rivers Giardi. What do you guys think? If you have a good idea, please let me know in the comments. This week's youth pool was Enzo Moretti. And I kind of made a mistake here. I was reading the scout's comment and I completely missed his potential of inadequate scoring. So I only read that he was all round inadequate and he had inadequate scoring at this point. 15 years old, I was all psyched to pull him up and set him in the starting lineup along with our other forward. I kind of missed the fact that he is already inadequate and he won't go any higher. We had to pull him because he was at the last scout anyway, but he wasn't as talented as we had hoped for, unfortunately. Sunday evening equals league football in San Marino and in round 11 we were playing San Müllers, a butt team and no surprise it wasn't really that complicated. The only thing that was of a little worry was a two week injury to Gianni Briotti. But we won four goals to nothing and um, most importantly we had our two winger trainees Tully and Minarelli play full 90 minutes in that game so that was excellent to see we did however spend quite some time looking at another league game and that was the match between Dubke and Gattineri CCFC the other two human teams in the league and for a long while it looked like Gattineri would take the win away from home with, with the counter approach to the game. But Jürgen Nini did equalize in the 79th minute for Tupke, meaning that they stay 
ahead of us uh, on points in the league. Um, quite exciting to follow that match. Let's have a look at the league. And it means that Gattineri is uh, looking good for the league win, being six points ahead with three games to play left. And we are one point behind Tubke. The trouble for us really is that we we play Gattineri away from home in the final round. Anyway, that's all we have to do this week. Remember to like the video and uh, subscribe to the channel. And uh, I'll see you next week.